Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 60. As always, I'm Shane. You can follow me on Twitter at smthomas3. You can also go to codekarate.com, sign up for the newsletter here on the left if you haven't already. Today, we're going to be talking about theming and more specifically how to create a simple sub-theme. So we're going to just breeze over the basics of sub-theming and how you can use it to start building a sub-theme for your Drupal website. There's an article on Drupal.org called Creating a Sub-Theme, which is very helpful. If you haven't read it or if you're looking to learn how to create a sub-theme, go ahead and take a look at that. It'll give you a lot of the information that we're going to cover today, but it'll also go into a lot of the details that we're not going to have time to go over. So what is a sub-theme? Well, if you're familiar with Drupal at all, you'll know that you can change the theme of your Drupal website. So by going into the appearance section on Drupal 7, you can switch from a Bartek theme to this 7 theme. These are both core themes in Drupal. You can see that, of course, changes the appearance of the entire website. What a sub-theme allows you to do is it allows you to extend one of these themes so you don't have to re or you don't have to write every piece of code you can just implement and reuse the functionality that you need to build your own theme so this can be useful for a lot of reasons you know saving time from having to rewrite the wheel every time so even though you may not be comfortable creating a theme from scratch creating a sub theme may actually be the best starting spot for you if you're learning theme development there are a lot of base themes that are very popular on Drupal.org, such as Zen, which is one that I've used frequently, Omega, and a, just a bunch of other ones you can find. If you look at the popular themes, the top five or ten are mostly sub, or a lot of them at least are themes that are used mainly as base themes. What we're going to do today is we're just going to take the Drupal 7 Bartek theme, which comes with core Drupal 7, and create a very simple sub theme and just go over what some of the some of the things you can do with sub theming in Drupal 7. So we're going to get started. The first step is to create as you can see I have my Drupal root here. I'm going to go into the themes directory. This is the Bartek theme. I'll be using some information from here. But I'm going to go into my sites directory and I'm using a multi-site but this would often be sites all themes and I'm going to create a folder I'm going to call this code karate Bartik. inside here I'm going to go ahead and create a file called code karate barktick.info and uh, as you can see I already opened up the barktick.info file I'm also going to go ahead and open up this new file I just created. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take most of this, I'm just going to copy it over and we'll, we're not going to use all of it, we'll be getting rid of a good chunk of it, but just as a good starting point, I'm going to name it Code Karate Barktic. Call it Code Karate Barctic sub theme. Won't worry about the package or the version. I'm going to get rid of all the style sheets here. And what that'll do is it'll make sure I'm using the style sheets from the core Barctic theme. I'm going to go ahead and keep all these regions. I'm going to get rid of this shortcut link. But I'm, what the regions do is you're generally going to want to keep all the regions from the base theme. You can then add your own or modify them if necessary, but since all the template files use these regions, it's best to start with all the regions from the base theme. And then you save it, and that's it. We now have a working sub-theme. I'm going to go ahead and clear the cache. It's a good rule of thumb to do if you adding new themes or changing anything in your themes.info file. I'm going to come into the appearance, and you'll notice I now have Code Karate Barctic. There's no screenshot, so I'm going to, I could add my own, uh, but I'm going to just copy the one from 
Bartik, the logo and the screenshot. Copy it over, paste it in. Should be looking a little better now. I'm going to go ahead and enable this Code Karate Bartik and set it to default. But before I do, if you click on settings for the Bartik theme, you'll notice there is this color module integration. I'm not going to go over that today, but I may at a future episode go over how to add that to a module. I'm going to go ahead and enable this new theme that we created and set it as a default. And as I mentioned before, it, this is right now just an info file. It's using all of the code from this Bartik theme. The settings are a little different, so it doesn't have the color module integration as I mentioned before. But if I go to the home page, uh, it looks a little different than what it should. Let me clear the cache here and make sure that it, everything is... Oh, I missed the most important part about creating a sub-theme. In order to create the sub-theme, you have to add one item to your info file to tell Drupal that it is going to use the style sheets and the templates and JavaScript files from the base theme. There's a little line that you need to call, add to your .info file, and obviously, as you can tell, this is very important. It's the line that says base theme, and what is the base theme? In this case, if you look, it's barktick.info, so the base theme is called barktick. I'm going to save this clear the cache and now things should start looking a little bit better as you can see it looks identical because it's using the same code which makes sense you can of course override a lot of things within the theme let's say for instance I want to declare and use my own style sheet you'll notice in the Barctic theme there's a style.css file. Let's say we wanted to go ahead and not use that style.css file. We wanted to create our own. Let's create a CSS folder. And we'll create a style sheet that has the same name so it overrides that style sheet. Then we need to hop into our info file. Copy the line that says the adds a style.css style sheet. Drop it in, save the file, clear the cache, and I will refresh the page. You'll notice things are looking a little less organized because that st style that CSS style sheet is now gone in favor of our now blank style that CSS style sheet in our sub theme. So we could go ahead and open that CSS file up, add our own styles to it, and reorganize the page as we want. You can do the same thing with JavaScript files. If there's any JavaScript files in the theme, you can of course add as many other style sheets or JavaScript files as you want. Another, another thing that you're going to need to do often is override a template file. You'll notice if you come into a theme, it's built with a bunch of template files here. There's a template file for any node page. There's a template file for the page.tpl.php. This page template file controls the general outlook of or the general structure of almost or all pages on the Drupal website. We're going to go ahead and make a copy of that. Go into our sub theme, create a templates folder. You don't necessarily have to put it in a templates folder, but I would recommend it. And paste it in. Now we can actually modify this page.tpl file in our sub theme without changing the base theme at all. And because we overrode or we added our own template file, this file takes precedence and will be the one used instead of the template file in the base theme, which is Barctic. It'll still use all the other Barctic template files, but in this case, the page.tpl file that it uses will be the one from our sub-theme. Just to show you an example of how it works, you could of course do whatever you want here, but right here is a main menu. I'm going to go ahead and just to show you that it's working. Just going to delete the main menu section right out of the page.template or page.tpl.php file. If I refresh, you'll notice it's still there. Got to go clear the cache, so it reads in my template file versus the original. Refresh. Now you can tell that the main navigation is gone. The other thing you're going to want to do is create a template.php file. You'll notice in 
the bark take theme and in all, basically all themes there's going to be a template.php file this is used to create theme functions over or override theme functions actually and also used for preprocess functions this works in a couple of different ways depending on what type of function you're using if it's a theme function if you override that theme function in your base theme it's going to use that theme function from your base theme so for instance you may want to override the way that all tables look on the site so there's a theme function called theme table and you could override that in your template.php file that you create if it's a preprocess function it handles it a little bit differently it's going to first run it through the base theme the preprocess function on the base theme and after it runs it through the preprocess function on the base theme it will run it through the preprocess function on the sub theme so if you use the in this case barctic preprocess html if i created a template.php file in my sub theme named it code karate barctic preprocess html this function would run first followed by the co the code karate barctic preprocess html in my sub themes template.php so depending on if it's a theme function or if it's a if it's a preprocess function it's handled slightly differently and of course that's all documented here in this document as well as a diagram showing that you can have multiple sub themes so you could have a sub theme based off a base theme and then a sub theme based off that sub theme so just keep in mind this makes it incredibly flexible it makes and make sure you don't have to rewrite the wheel each time. You can create one base theme that has 90% of most of the sites you're going to create if you're creating multiple sites. And then you can use that as a starting point to make sure you don't have to rewrite the same CSS and same JavaScript across multiple websites. So just a way to make it more efficient and make it easier to build out themes in Drupal. Go ahead and give it a try. Start creating your own sub-themes and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching the Daily Dose of Drupal. As always, follow me on Twitter, find me on Google+, and check out the CodeKarate.com newsletter. Thanks for watching.